The story in the New Testament about Jesus Christ is so stunning that one would think we could find all sorts of records of it outside of the Gospels. However, upon scientific scrutiny, there actually appears no credible evidence for the Gospel story outside of the New Testament. There is, in fact, not one word from historians and other writers of the time and place of anything related in the Gospel story. Even though Christ was depicted as being very famous and surrounded by crowds in more than 20 passages in the Gospels. In actuality, the situation of finding fingerprints of the Christ is so bleak that Christian scholars are themselves forced to admit there really isn't much evidence for the life of Jesus at all. For example, the founder of the modern evangelical movement, F.F. F. Bruce, states, quote, Apart from the New Testament writings and later writings dependent on these, our sources of information about the life and teaching of Jesus are scanty and problematic. Unquote. In the same vein, Dr. Merrill Tenney, a conservative evangelical Christian who was a professor of theological studies and the dean of the School of Theology at Wheaton College, as well as an original translator of the NASB and NIV editions of the Bible, also remarks, quote, one would naturally expect that the Lord Jesus Christ would be sufficiently important to receive ample notice in the literature of his time, and that extensive biographical material would be available. He was observed by multitudes of people, and his own followers numbered into the hundreds, whose witness was still living in the middle of the first century. As a matter of fact, the amount of information concerning him is comparatively meager, Aside from the four Gospels and a few scattered allusions in the epistles, contemporary history is almost silent concerning him." Unquote. In actuality, contemporary history is entirely silent concerning Jesus Christ, as if he never existed. And we hear the same from Dr. John Meyer, a Catholic University New Testament professor, ex-Catholic priest, and Monsignor who likewise admits the difficulty of finding any kind of path as to who Jesus was. Quote, there are very few sources for knowledge of the historical Jesus beyond the four canonical Gospels. Paul and Josephus offer little more than tidbits. Claims that later apocryphal Gospels and the Nag Hammadi material supply independent and reliable historical information about Jesus are largely fantasy. In the end, the historian is left with the difficult task of sifting through the four Gospels for historical tradition." Unquote. As we can see, we cannot rely on any evidence outside of the Bible to provide clues about who Jesus was, and we have already determined the Gospels to be contradictory and the manuscripts full of errors, such that their reliability and trustworthiness are likewise suspect. Finally, the Universal Jewish Encyclopedia summarizes the problem of not having many fingerprints of the Christ. Quote, the only definite account of his life and teachings is contained in the four Gospels of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All other historical records of the time are silent about him. The brief mentions of Jesus in the writings of Josephus, Tacitus, and Suetonius have been generally regarded as not genuine and as Christian interpolations. In Jewish writings, there is no report about Jesus that has historical value. Some scholars have even gone so far as to hold that the entire Jesus story is a myth." Unquote. When we turn to the commonly offered proofs of Jesus' very existence, the few passages or sentences in the writings of the Jewish historian Josephus and the pagan historians Suetonius, Pliny, and Tacitus, we find them to have little to no value, even if they could be considered authentic or genuinely concerning Jesus Christ. For one thing, these passages, which constitute only a few paragraphs about the greatest man who supposedly ever lived, are far too late to represent anything more than rumor and tradition. These passages are discussed in greater detail in Who is Jesus, which also addresses other evidence offered by apologists, such as Thales, Flagon, and Bar Serapion. In examining Old Testament scriptures, such as those called Messianic prophecies, we are led to conclude that these writings were not prophecies at all, but were used as blueprints in creating the Gospel story. In demonstrating this fact, my book, Who Was Jesus?, includes original side-by-side -side charts showing exactly what scriptures from the Old Testament were used in the creation of the New Testament. 
In Who Is Jesus, I also provide a detailed examination of problems with the Gospels, such as contradictions, absurdities, and repugnant behavior that calls into question the alleged divine origin of the New Testament writings. In response to Christian apologies for these problems, I further discuss whether or not the Gospel story represents history or propaganda created by priests for a specific purpose. Many of the difficulties with the Gospels and the Gospel story seriously challenge our quest for honesty and integrity within religion. In reality, it is apparent that the Gospels do not represent historical events, but that they have been falsely presented as such. At this time in history, it is critical that we not shrink from examining and even barbecuing sacred cows if they are leading us to our own demise with all sorts of talk about Armageddon, the apocalypse, and end times. In this regard, Who is Jesus, Fingerprints of the Christ, is designed to assist this transition into greater understanding of ourselves and our world in hopes of helping to produce true human enlightenment and peace on earth. Thank you.